Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see WebLogic JVM monitoring using Visual VM. So, to identify running JVM, Visual VM relies on JSTAT and uh, JMX connection. So, in this video, we will cover both of the aspects. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to check out my channel. I have uploaded several videos related to installation or configuration and uh, recently I have uploaded videos for service development as well. So don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, for similar content. So without wasting time, let's uh, move further. Let us see some definitions before moving further. Well, VM is a simple yet powerful profiling tool for JVM applications. It can connect to local or remote JVM applications and monitor them. It used to bundle with earlier Java releases, but uh, for latest Java releases, you'll have to download Visual VM separately. If you talk about profilers, there are many profilers available in the market, like JProfiler, UORKit, NetBeans Profiler, etc. And uh, it helps us to identify memory leak or any other performance issues. As mentioned earlier, Visual VM can use JSTAT or JMX connection to identify JVM. JSTAT program is an RMI server that comes with the JDK. If you want to monitor a JVM, you'll have to run JSTAT server on the remote machine. And Visual VM will connect it to get the profiling data from the machine. If you talk about JMX, it stands for Java Management Extensions and is a standard api for the management and monitoring of jvm application and as part of this video we will try to connect jvm using jstad or jmx connection as i mentioned jstad bundles with jdk so we'll go to jdk so this is my jdk home uh, we'll go to bin and here you will be able to see jstad so here we have jstad so if you try to run jstad it will give permission error. So first we'll have to create a policy and give permission. So I'm creating one policy file and I am naming this at jsted all policy. You can give a separate name if you want. In, inside this file, I will grant the permission and save it. Now we will again try to start jsted and this time we will pass permission uh, file in the argument. So if you are creating uh, this policy with a different file name you will have to change that file name here and uh, you can hit enter now so this m percent in last will make it run in the background and this is the process id for jstat if you run jps you will be able to see jstat so whatever process is running through java like node manager or our admin server this jstat should be able to monitor it now to download visual vm you can go to this website and uh, download this from here i will share this link in the description now this is the path where i have downloaded visual vm setup and inside that there is a bin folder uh, where you can find this visual vm file and you can run it and if you are using windows environment you can click on .exe file and it will launch the application So this is the home page for Visual VM and in the left hand side you can see we have local and remote. So in the local you can see it is already identifying our process IDs. So this is our WebLogic server 3935 and this is our node manager process ID. If you don't see this process ID in the local section then uh, probably you are running uh, your virtual machine in the remote. So you can right click here and add remote host and you'll have to give the host name if you double click on any pid it will give uh, further information like uh, what jvm arguments are there and uh, you can also monitor heap you can also monitor threads and uh, it also provide sampler and profiler to uh, monitor cpu or memory if you go to plugins uh, there are multiple plugins available for visual vm 
and uh, here we are particularly interested in visual gc uh, plugin so that we can monitor garbage collection so we'll click that and install it finish and as you can see there are multiple other plugins available you can use as per your need so our plugin is installed uh, we will try to open this pid again and this time you can see we have another tab for visual gc in here you can monitor garbage collection so you will be able to see eden space survivor space old generation meta space etc so it is really useful plugin to monitor garbage collection now we'll try to add jvm using jmx connection so for that we'll have to pass java arguments in the startup so let's see that so we will log into our admin console and uh, here we will go to our server number one and uh, in the server start you can mention startup arguments so as of now we have two arguments for the heap this is for the minimum heap space and this is for the maximum heap space and we will add uh, some other arguments for the jmx so these are the arguments for the jmx i will share this arguments in the description so here we have port number and uh, we are setting ssl as false and uh, we are giving our argument for our jmx remote connection here click save and activate changes and now we will start our manage server one so you can see there is a port number in our argument and uh, on that particular port we will try to connect to our jmx connection so that is 1089 you can give some other port if you want and similarly you can add these properties to other servers startup and then monitor them so you can see there is a pid added in the local and that is for our managed server and it is monitored by the jstad so for the jmx connection we will add jmx connection here and we'll have to give the port number for that so that is 1089 and we'll click ok so you can see this is our jmx connection and the process id is same to what we have here and if you double click you will be able to monitor your managed server garbage collection you can observe that our eden space is occupying really quick so probably we can tune it if uh, it is giving us any problem that's it for this video in the upcoming videos we will cover more interesting topics if you found this video helpful Please like my videos, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification. Also don't uh, forget to leave a comment so that I can keep coming with the new topics for you. Thank you.